Um, our next guest is, uh, he's from the San Diego Zoo. He's actually working on a new Pixar movie called Goosen, and he's going to be on the Jimmy Kimmel Show later tonight. Give it up for Steven Randolph from yeah. the San Diego Zoo, everybody! Somebody's actually going to watch Kimmel. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. All right, thank you so much, you guys. Any comments? Sorry, this is the mongoose. It's, I mean, he's scared. He's really, he's kind of... We're gonna be real careful with this one here. Okay, so I'm actually gonna be on Kimmel later this week. Okay, fine then. It's a big deal for this guy from San Diego. Um, and this is Catherine, this is my intern. We're at the San Diego Zoo, and um, we're gonna be in the movie Goosin together. And uh, uh, Jimmy wants us to bring a couple animals on and do that whole thing, so I'm actually really nervous. This is my first movie, definitely my first. Uh, television uh, spot, so the comedy store was nice enough to let me come out here and kind of work out the nerves, so if I'm a little... Yeah, so if you could meet Jimmy Kimmel, that was... Ah, <laughs> uh, hi, he's the Fox Harris Elfman, hi. <laughs> I didn't hear that. <laughs> okay, well first, first we have Lindsay, uh, and we're gonna be, he wanted me to bring three animals, we have Lindsay the Tarantula. And Lindsay's a, Lindsay's a silverback tarantula, and she loves eating moths. Oh my! She'll eat a fish if you throw it in there. Um, she does bite. <laughs> when she's scared, so we just need to keep that a little quiet right now. Bite! 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 Okay. She smells fear, and I'm just gonna... Disneyland. Disneyland. There we go. <laughs> So when she gets scared, she'll actually shoot those little pieces of fur. You're okay, you're okay, girl. <laughs> she actually will shoot that fur off, but she's fine. All she wants, and, and her secret snack that I feed her, I'm not supposed to, is Reese's peanut butter cups. She absolutely adores those. When I, we're at the zoo, you better believe she's getting a peanut butter cup, okay? So that's the first animal. How was that, guys? Uh, right, give it up. <laughs> Ow, I think she bit me. I got a, I got a little tingle. Um, <laughs> Can we get an empty patch on the stage, please? <laughs> okay, so this is actually Samantha. Oh, oh hello. Oh, Samantha like is a tree monster. <laughs> <laughs> and what she does is she'll sit up in the tree. You want to hold her? Oh. Now what you saw is very interesting, Jimmy. He was terrified of the spider, and then he's gonna take a tree monster probably home with him. <laughs> Thank you so much. You kind of look like Pablo Escobar, so I'm sure this is native in your land. <laughs> Please watch Narcos on Netflix. Love you on Narcos. I'm sorry about Tata. Uh. I want a wife like Tata. She's supportive. She, I, that's my that's my type. That was my Sarah Silverman. Okay. So this is actually the tree monster. We're gonna we're gonna actually give her back to Catherine. Thank you so much, Catherine. Okay. And last but not least, uh, I hesitate with this one, and I'm obviously not gonna say this on air. But the movie is about a mongoose uh, and a cobra becoming friends, and I don't know if you guys know the history of mongoose. Uh, they hate cobras. If you guys, great thing to watch tonight, just watch mongoose versus cobra YouTube videos. And the mongoose will just patiently wait and just go nuts and kill the king cobra. You with us, Jimmy? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm all on board. <laughs> So, so what's going to happen is, Jimmy, Was your insurance up to date? <laughs> the comedy store didn't want me letting this one out, and, and I actually didn't want to let this out. I'm going to have to let it out on Kimmel. But this is Ruth the Mongoose. Now, I don't know if you guys know about Mongoose. It's fine. It's in the cage. We're trying try to get her out to say hi to you guys. Come here, Ruthie. Come here, Ruthie. Hey, it's okay, it's St. Louis. It's you just, he, he's a professional, he's from yeah. the zoo. So, so Ruth, if, if we're, Ruth were to get out, she'd be fine, you just don't make eye contact. Um, and she'll, she's a biter. Now, I'm going to be real honest, like, and, and Jimmy wants, we're going to be there, Catherine, and Catherine's got two assistants that are going to be with her. We're actually going to bring this out on Jimmy Kimmel, we're going to do this whole bit. I'm really nervous about that, but I, I, I'm going to see if I can, I'm not going to bring her out, but I'm going to try to hold... 
All right. Ruthie, Ruthie, if I could get her to peek her head up. Ruthie. Higher on the stool here. <laughs> Do you see her in there? <laughs> Ruthie. Oh, <laughs> with me like since the beginning uh friend from high school all that stuff um ladies and gentlemen please give a warm welcome for father steven <laughs> that was cool dudes <laughs> That was cool. How we doing? Good. Good. My name is Father Stephen. Uh, I'm I'm with St. Mary's by the Sea in Seal Beach. We have a long running joke there. We don't know if Jesus surfed or not, but we, we can all agree he definitely didn't bodyboard. <laughs> Hope that works tomorrow. <laughs> I like to work out my stuff on Saturday night before I, I do church on Sunday, so you guys are fun. The head pastor at my church, he always says, Father Stephen, you go down to the comedy store and test your new jokes. The heck you doing down there? That place is known for out being riddled with alcoholics, drug dealers, and loose women. <laughs> and I always have to say, Father Brian, have you read your Bible lately? Jesus' best friends were tax collectors, killers, and prostitutes. <laughs> and after looking at this audience, I think I'm in the right place. <laughs> I'm killing it. One of my favorite stories from the Bible is when Jesus fed 3,000 people with seven loaves and seven fishes by an act of miracle by our Father. Can I get an amen for that? Amen. At the Rock Church, we believe that Jesus is going to come back for a second time. And when he does, my only prayer request is, would you do that again, please? Except for this time with the In-N-Out truck. <laughs> Find animal style. <laughs> Before I go any further, is there any atheists in the crowd? I don't believe in you either. <laughs> Rebuke you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Having fun. You guys down with Noah's Ark? Yeah? One of my favorite Bible stories. The Lord told Noah, build an ark. I'm about to flood this mother down. <laughs> and I want you to take two of every insect, people, places, things you put on that ark and repopulate. And because he did that, we're all here today. Can I get an amen? Amen. My only question to Noah is, mosquitoes, really? <laughs> Uber drivers? <laughs> Thank you, that's my time. Thank you so much. I'm Father Steven. This is totally rocking. Totally rocking. Back to our show. <laughs> Would you guys like to meet my dancing partner? He responds to applause, guys, and so do I. I'm a big fish up here, too, sometimes. <laughs> Telecom! 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 Oh! Venice Beach. <laughs> Telecom 
Tom's a little shy sometimes, and he's bad at listening, aren't you, Tillicom? We'll talk about that when the lights go out. Um, but he's very happy here. He's very happy. Tillicom, they didn't get a chance to see you. And this is called SeaWorld. <laughs>